Warren DeWitt and Arden Peters live in a small town in West Virginia. Arden's children had moved far away, and Warren had never married. They were trying to cope with the demands of aging more or less on their own. Then they met each other. What do you think about this guy? Are you happy you met him here? All right. He's all right when he's asleep. <laughs> you might call him my friend. <laughs> we used to come here every morning for breakfast. We didn't know each other at the time. And he and Mrs. Peters would sit at one of those booths over there. And that was my booth over there in the corner. We never talked any until uh, eventually Mrs. Peters wasn't coming anymore. He came in by himself. Arden was 90 years old, and he was trying to look after both himself and his wife. It was proving impossible. Maxine has uh, Alzheimer's disease, and she also has Parkinson's disease. She was starting to get bad, and I'd meet him in at Walmart, and he'd tell me about what all he had to do is scrub the floor and wash the clothes and had to look after her and help her, and you know. And uh, so it was uh, pretty stressful for him, I think, to have all that on his mind. When she gets real sick, like at night, when I would be home and he'd call me and I'd come up here, he'd just be crying and crying, carrying on. I felt so sorry for him, I swear. Broke my heart. She can't move her arms, she can't turn her body, she can't do anything. They have to, they have to shove her over, push her over on her side and put pillows behind her to hold her there. Mom was crying. And she said, you making plans to put me away. I said, I don't know, we're not. And when they first started here, they said they put her in a rest home. I said, no, you're not going to put her in a rest home. The doctor did say that if you had someone 24 hours a day, we would let you keep her at home. And I said, Pap, why don't we uh, tell him that Doris is going to be here in the daytime, and I'm, I'm going to stay with you the rest of the time and see what he says about that. So we just turned the car around and went back and talked to the doctor. And, and we told him that, uh, well, we had this girl working here eight hours a day and I was gonna be here the rest of the day and night, every night. He said, okay, if there's gonna be someone there, I'll let you take her home. I don't think she would get this kind of care in a rest home that she gets here now. Yeah, I don't know how she'd ever get better care than she's getting. I have did everything I know what to do. He's got an awful lot of patience with her, really. More than anybody else that I know would have. And I sort of like her a little bit. <laughs> but I do most of the work that has to be done here. After all, he's 90 years old. He don't have much strength, you know. So he couldn't possibly take care of this if someone wasn't here. Have you thought about what you're going to do when she passes? Oh, I'll stay here with him. I wouldn't leave him for anything. No. Uh -oh. He'd need me more than ever then. Well, when you get this old, you just don't look forward. You just live from day to day. And, uh, but you don't worry. I don't live that way to worry. And, uh, so I, I went and bought our grave. Thoughts, now we've got our tombstone put up and everything. Where are you going after you die? I'm going to heaven, that's where I'm going. And I'm positive of that. <laughs> you and Maxine both? That's right. 
The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still water. He restoreth my soul and guides my path in righteousness for his name's sake. And surely goodness and loving kindness shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of my Lord forever and ever and ever. One of the last words I remember her really say down is that she says, I love you. Hey, Pap, breakfast is ready. It's just like I belong here. We're just great friends, but it's like it's just like being in your family. But I want him to be around for a long time. And I guarantee you, I'll take care of him as long as he lives. We're going to be together for life. <laughs> oh, Pappy, Pappy, Pappy. <laughs> He's my buddy all the way. <laughs>